Riley, thank you. Super Tuesday is here and major shakeups have reshaped the presidential field. Voters in 14 states and one territory will cast ballots today. Polls open in Minnesota at 7 this morning. Voting already underway in Virginia. That's where CBS News political correspondent Ed O'Keefe is live this morning. Ed, nice to have you with us. I saw you in Des Moines, Iowa, and boy, how much has the landscape changed since we were covering the caucuses? Well, for one thing, we're indoors, uh, and for another, <laughs> there are fewer candidates. Uh, and it's changed dramatically. Last night's big endorsements, uh, kind of like a family reunion of some of these uh, candidates who've shared debate stages and steak fry stages across the country for the last several months, now coming together, at least some of the moderates, for Joe Biden, designed to give him some last-minute momentum. As you said, about 15 million people in those 14 states and one territory across the country today expected to show out to vote. Uh, here at this high school, already uh, a steady stream of voters, as I'm sure you'll see pretty soon in Minnesota. Bernie Sanders in St. Paul yesterday saying that all of the kind of establishment Democrats going in line with Joe Biden essentially colluding against him. The president has been saying sort of the same thing that here we go again with the uh, mainstream Democrats colluding against Bernie. Uh, is that a fair statement to make? Look, there is a segment of the party that is concerned about him getting the nomination. So, yes, at this point, they're trying to do everything they can to surpass him. Will that happen tonight? No, probably not. Uh, but the goal is to get as close to him as possible so that in the coming weeks, next week in Michigan, two weeks from now in Florida, Arizona, and Illinois, in April in the Northeast, somebody else can catch him and, and at least keep it even or find a way to surpass him. And by getting most of the party behind him, they believe that could potentially happen. Remember, the states that are voting today across the South, here in Virginia, North Carolina, Alabama, Arkansas, Texas, California, you have a different mix of Democratic voter who shows up. Sure, voters in Minnesota, historically a little more liberal, uh, a little more open to somebody like Bernie Sanders, but that's not the case in Colorado, in North Carolina, in parts of Texas, in in other parts of California, but in California, Sanders is expected to do quite well, and that's part of what is likely to give him this huge lead in the coming days. It takes California a few days to count things, given how many people vote, given the way they do it out there, but by the end of this week, we should have a sense of how much more somebody might need to catch Sanders if there's a way to catch him. Ed, you've been talking with voters all over the country, and I think there's this sort of conventional wisdom where people feel like, okay, if you are an Amy Klobuchar supporter or a Pete Buttigieg supporter, you are more of a quote-unquote moderate Democrat, so you're going to line up behind Joe Biden. But I don't know if that's what the polling indicates, and I don't know that voters always make these kind of linear logical dis uh, uh, choices like maybe some pundits think they're going to. They, they sure don't, which is why you're good at this. Um, in fact, if you look at our CBS News polling, we asked, who was the second choice of a Pete Buttigieg or an Amy Klobuchar voter? And the biggest beneficiary, potential, at least in the case of Buttigieg supporters, is Elizabeth Warren, who, of course, now is uh, one of the only people left. Uh, for Klobuchar voters, it was Biden. And in fact, I remember when we were in Iowa, we would hear from people who showed up at Biden and Klobuchar events and said, I'm trying to decide between the two of them. So if the binary choice no longer exists and Biden is the last one standing, you can presume that those kinds of voters all over the country will go, okay, fine, let's give it to the former vice president. We'll see. Uh, big day ahead. It will give us some more clarity in the coming days of who exactly is still in this race and what it looks like. But remember, this is not the end. There are still dozens of states yet to vote across the rest of March and April. Very good. Should be interesting today. Always great talking to you, and thanks for the insight this morning at O'Keefe, CBS News, live in Virginia for us. Just ahead this morning, Senator Amy Klobuchar will be live on CBS this morning. That interview coming up next.